Okay guys, so we're here today with... Hello, Mr. Jäger here. And he is our guest for today's Banner Lord podcast. And uh, he is up for some questions, I guess. Um, should we jump right into the first question? Yeah, let's just take forever to get to it. Let's, you know, let's do what the interviewers do professionally and just, you know, waste people's time. Now let's get straight into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long have you been into Mountain Blade? Uh... I was in. I got into Mountain Blade years ago, like back in 2009, 2010. Yeah. Um, played mostly Warband and then Napoleonic Wars when uh, that was the big thing. Yeah. So uh, not too much nowadays, though. I've kind of uh, with the with all the other mods and stuff going on, I've sort of had other things on my mind. Yeah. Uh, and what would you say do you, uh, that you liked most in the game, like the campaign um, map or the, the like sea sieges and yeah. What do you like I mean, most? I like the fact that there, there is a karma system with your campaign. Like, you yeah. could be the most scourgeous, like... I, I don't know what kind of filters you've got for your YouTube channel, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll go with the clean version. Yeah. You can be an utter pillock to the whole world. Like, you can end up setting up your own nation, you could be loyal to the Swadians. There are some really awesome things that you can do and some evil things, but there's never a thing that says you have to do things in a certain way. It yeah. was just completely up to you. And I think with a single player campaign, especially when you get the mods and other stuff that starts to come into it, it's actually quite yeah. an enjoying sort of enjoyment sort of thing. And also the fact that it is so moddable uh, that you can enjoy it, though. Um, I think, unfortunately, now it's sort of beginning to show a lot of its age regarding the old modding scene. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. So you know about Bannerlord? Um... Uh, yeah, the uh, famous... <laughs> uh, it, we should really call it Half-Life 3 at this point. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fun yeah. fact: I actually wanted to make a YouTube series because I, because I, 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 when it was announced and stuff, I was thinking about doing a sort of a, a YouTube series. Um, yeah. Uh, sort of playing until the game came out, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I'd be still going. <laughs> it's like day three thousand and nine, <laughs> still not out. <laughs> Okay, but uh, if the game <clears throat> ever being released, uh, what do you look forward to the most in the game? I suppose, I mean, given the, all the details that we're being given now regarding the game, um, I look forward to the improved siege mechanics, but I'm also what I'm looking more forward to is what could be done with the mods, because obviously yeah. the, the biggest sort of thing about Mountain Blade is just how moddable it is. And how, and I'm curious to see with the upgraded engine, everything, um, what kind of mods could come from that. Whether the old favorites, like the, you know, the 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 uh, God, what was it, the, the American Civil War one, yeah, fighting yeah. like the Europe one. Like if we could, if we could see some major improvements in that line, I think that would be kind of cool. But I mean, obviously, also, you know, it's it's a new, it would be a new sort of thing, new factions and all that. But still. Um, yeah. But yeah, modability is the big thing I'd say. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh, so, like, the community about Warband is uh, pretty hard to, like, uh, come up to in Bannerlord's case. But do you think, like, we can expect Bannerlord to get such as much hype as uh, Warband uh, did get and is I, getting? I, I to sort of look at it from a, I suppose, a, a cynical but and probably pessimistic, but. I wouldn't, and I wouldn't say inaccurate. Is yeah. depending on how much the uh, the company is doing these pod, like these little dev moments and their other things. Yeah. I have a, a grave fear that when the game does actually release, it's going to have such an underwhelming uh, opening, and like almost no one. I mean, there's still going to be the diehards, and there's probably going to be a small community of players yeah. who will be dedicated. But I regret that maybe it'll take some time for the. Uh, the hype train or the or any kind of train of a chord to really go in Warband uh, Bannerlord's direction because yeah. badly they handled their development cycle um, in comparison to other games. I mean, I I, I hope that they do well because it, you know it's a good series with a good developer, but unfortunately, yeah. I have a fear that they probably won't do much or if anything for the next first like two months, even three. Yeah, and if you guys want to see uh, when I am comparing the hype uh, around Warband versus Bannerlord, you, you can check my uh, latest video uh, where I'm actually comparing these two games uh, by like um, by the their hype and and uh, so on. Um, and will you make a Bannerlord series on your on your channel when it 
releases. Yeah, I mean, I always intended on having a crack at that sort of thing because yeah. I like to, I like to, you know, add variety to the content that I do. Yeah. So being able to have, um, have a sort of campaign like that would be kind of dope. Um, but again, it's one of those things where it's like, I, you know, I didn't want to commit to something on Warband, uh, knowing my sodding luck. I do, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. Bannerlord drops, and you're like, "Well, great! Now I got to <laughs> come up with something else." But no, like, I, if the game does come out and there's a decent level of mod support for it, then I'm more than willing to have a crack at it, especially if there's one yeah. that introduces gunpowder weapons, because I'm a bit of a liker of those things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so now to the last question that the question that I am asking all of the guests here on the show: mm -hmm. um, When do you think Bannerlord is going to be released? Okay, that's so a huge question. It's the big one, and yeah. uh, I, do we get a prize if we get it right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose apart from Bannerlord releasing, which will probably be the prize in itself. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be cheeky, and I'm gonna say, I wouldn't say. I'm thinking either Christmas 2019, though I have a high doubt that will be not the case, but a more realistic viewpoint, maybe uh, in 2020, uh, yeah. maybe in autumn of fall for that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I th something's telling me that, like, I don't know, uh, October, September period 2020 is when yeah. it might drop. Um, so uh, if, if it is, I am a god. Um, <laughs> if not, uh, then I thought <laughs> worse. <laughs> but yeah, no, but um, do you have like um, why do you think that? Well, the thing is, the development cycle of this particular game has been going on for well in yeah. excess of its duration, and the team itself is very, very small, given the fact that they probably have to deal with an ever increasingly tight uh, environment in terms of budget costs and other stuff and I, yeah. with their determination to showcase the most poignantly small or features evidently they're not either they're doing an incredibly devious sort of marketing trick where they're just going to plop it out one day and be like oh mm. yeah by the way it's out anyway this other feature <laughs> that we're going to talk about and then no one will realize it until like another three months before oh actually no it's out but no like the size of the development team is going to probably make it into a make it sort of difficult for them to be able to big release big features yeah. and hope and and as such i think that's probably going to be the reason why um it will take too long because obviously this game is not small and there's a lot to still do yeah okay so that yeah, was so actually the yeah i'd say the the lack of a team is the reason why it's taking so long and you know ever changing game circumstances tech upgrades and all that yeah i mean look at star citizen that's an interesting fact, you know. Okay guys, so this was everything for today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.